Hey guys and uh, welcome back. Uh, and this uh, part um, part two of how to create uh, Popello, I'm gonna go through the second technique. And um, yeah, so let's just start straightforward. Um, now we're gonna, going to create again a new component. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this time and uh, this the cylinder tool it's up to you you can just you know use sketch and use the uh, traditional way of creating a cylinder this one is going to be 50 and 50 up and we're going to create a let's just see here okay first of all i'm going to create a shell here two millimeters good now I'm going to create the second cylinder and it's going to be somewhere about 280. I don't want to cut it. We didn't just don't want a new body and it's going to be 50 millimeters and we're going to click OK. I'm just going to hide the first one and I'm going to shell this one as well. Two millimeters okay good so now we have those two circles and we're gonna continue from here so we're going to create um let's just see here <laughs> how we're gonna do this one um, yep i'm going to create now uh, the first sketch on this plane here and just slice it and I'm going to create a square here in the middle and um, first I want to remove this constraint here and that's, I'm just gonna put this one here right in the middle okay, 25 that's good and this one I want uh, 35 and the size is gonna be five millimeters. Okay, now I'm going to just um, connect the move command because I wanna change the degrees to about maybe 35 for now and I want to constrain it vertically here and I'm going to create now a center line here to here and another one here to here and this is good we only really have to constrain here so they are just the construction lines and in the moment you can see why now we're gonna oh so we're going to create 34 35 degrees good so this is the, our first it's gonna be for our first blade and gonna click on ok now we're going to create a second sketch same plane here and I'm gonna slice it for now I'm just gonna hide this one and I'm gonna do the exact same thing as before and um, yeah I'm going to make sure that it's in the center and this one is 36 okay for now. Now this one I can put for example on two millimeters. And in a moment you can see why, because this, this sketch is going to be for the tip of the blade. And um, let's see what next. Yes, we're going to mark now everything. I'm gonna use the move command. And gonna change the degrees of this and we want to 
constrain it also here I'm just gonna make sure that it's to be 25 good like before I'm gonna create a line here and another horizontal line here we're going to make them uh, construction lines and let's see here it's 45 degrees this is good now I can go back and uh, let's just change it to I don't know, 55 or maybe 65 uh, that looks a bit better and let's compare it to the other one yeah that looks nice so we can now click OK so first uh, I'm gonna work on the first one and now what we're gonna do we're gonna extrude this and we're gonna choose whoop we're gonna choose intersect and voila <coughs> so this is gonna be the base of the uh, of the blade gonna turn on the second one and we're gonna do the same move it all the way here and we're gonna choose intersect okay but as you can see here it's not so perfect so this is the, um, we can say the minus and plus for each um, technique. Uh, and I don't understand why it happened. So I'm just gonna go back for a second to investigate. Ah, okay, I can see now why. So we just need to make sure uh, when we're creating the second one to to hide this one and this way we're not gonna cut it because this one cut the other one so just pay attention to that okay and so we're gonna do it again go all the way out and intersect and click OK and wait a second yeah okay looks good now let's see if we can use the loft command here and it's working just fine and it's joint voila so we just created our first blade and now in this point you can just you know just create a new um, cylinder Give it, uh, if it was 51, and we're gonna push it up to 50. Oh, sorry. And we can just really go forward and correct it, not to cut. I want a new body. Okay, so this is looks actually nice. From here, if you want, you can see you're gonna have a lot of controls and we're just going to show the dimension if you think that for example the base here it's too thick so we can just change it to 25 for example okay or even 20 and you can also change the the twist for example let's see 45 give it more twist so it's like the other one it's more straight <clears throat> or maybe less 25 if that's what you're looking for so you you actually have a lot of um, flexibility here um, how much you can play with it so this is technique number two from here on you know what to do and uh, yeah we can you can just use make uh, the tips here more nice and brown you can use the you know the fillet here and then the base and uh, in the end you just use the pattern 
to put it all around as many as you as you like and um yeah so this is for now and i'm gonna see you in the third part in the next video bye bye